CompTIA A Plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam, Questions 1 through 5. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 1. Which type of RAM is a technician most likely to install when upgrading a desktop computer? The answer is B, DBR4. Double data rate or DDR RAM is the expected choice for upgrading a desktop computer's memory due to its wide adoption and compatibility with the memory slots found on desktop motherboards. So DIMM modules are smaller and used in laptops, not desktops. ECC memory has error correction useful for servers, but is overkill for most desktops. VRAM is dedicated to graphics cards and isn't used for general system upgrades. Question 2. What is the most likely reason for vertical streaks on the printouts from a laser printer? The answer is B. Drum. Vertical streaks in laser printer outputs are most commonly attributed to issues with the drum unit. The drum's surface is sensitive and integral to image transfer. Damage or wear on it can lead to repeating streaks on printouts. Toner buildup on the drum can also cause streaks. This typically results from a failure of the drum's cleaning mechanism to fully clear away residual toner after each print cycle. Question 3. A user is attempting to play a DVD on a projector. While the audio plays normally, the projector is showing an error message that states, HDMI content disabled due to copy protection. What is the most probable cause of this error? The answer is C. The projector does not support the required HDCP protocol. The error message indicating HDMI content disabled due to copy protection suggests a problem with HDCP compliance, which is a protocol used to prevent unauthorized copying of digital audio and video. If the projector lacks support for the necessary HDCP standards, it won't display the video from an HDCP-protected DVD, although the audio might still transmit since it is less often protected. Question 4. While setting up a new wireless network, a technician identifies that the current channel is heavily congested with competing radio frequency signals. After conducting a spectrum analysis, the technician finds a channel that is clear of significant RF interference, but is restricted from switching to this channel. What is the most probable explanation for the inability to select this channel? The answer is A. The channel is restricted for licensed band use. Radio frequency spectrum regulations often reserve certain channels for licensed entities, such as commercial broadcasters or government agencies, to prevent interference with critical services. These restricted bands are not available for public or unlicensed use, and equipment designed for general use is typically configured to avoid these channels to comply with regulatory standards. Question 5. A technician is setting up a computer to serve as a host for virtual machines. Following the installation of the required virtualization software, the technician finds they cannot create any virtual machines. What should be the next step to troubleshoot this issue? The answer is B. Enable TPM. Enabling the Trusted Platform Module, or TPM, is often necessary when setting up a virtual machine host, as many virtualization solutions require TPM for security functions like secure boot and hardware-based encryption. If the TPM is not active, the system may not fulfill the security standards demanded by the virtualization software, which can lead to the creation of VM being blocked. Therefore, turning on the TPM in the BIOS or UEFI settings could resolve the issue, 
allowing the technician to proceed with creating virtual machines. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.